we're going to talk about restless leg syndrome. Uh, someone had a question and wanted to know more about it, so we're going to talk about it. So restless leg syndrome is a condition that I even had in my 20s, and I'm telling you, it really keeps you from sleeping. It's very uncomfortable because the lower part of your body is just, it just has to move. It's just so much energy in it. So you have this impulse to fidget, you can't relax, you can't just be still. So what causes that is a deficiency of B1, thiamine, okay? Now, thiamine has many different functions, creates a lot of different symptoms. There are several possible things that can influence this condition. One, um, because B1 is involved in the Krebs cycle, which is the energy production uh, in the mitochondria, if you're low on B1, you're not gonna make enough ATP, which is the energy currency that feeds the nervous system. Okay, number two, there's a pathway that's involved with thiamine in the cell, in the mitochondria, and if you don't have enough B1, the nerves start developing atrophy, so they start dying off. You're initially gonna have irritation in the nerve before it becomes damaged, and the irritation would be neuritis, or nerve pain, which is peripheral neuropathy, which you see in diabetics, where the bottom of the feet are tingling, burning, painful, and then numbness, or you might feel it in your fingertips. So when you think neuritis, always think deficiency of B1, but over time, when it becomes chronic, you lose the function of those nerves, like in peripheral neuropathy, where it becomes numb and basically dead. But if this is happening in the brain, you're gonna first have excessive thinking and analyzing everything to death, and then it starts going down, where basically you're like, okay, uh, where am I going today? You start losing your, your uh, ability to think, solve problems, and also have a good memory. The next function of B1 has to do with making this chemical called acetylcholine. And acetylcholine is involved in motor control. This is like the certain nerves that control the muscles, which are called the motor nerves, and in which case that you cannot sit still. Your body has to move. So with this condition, it's not just affecting restless leg syndrome, it's affecting the whole body where uh, your body just cannot be still. And there's various other uh, conditions that are very similar, but they're labeled differently, like akathisia, which is an irresistible urge to move. Or another condition, which is tardive dyskinesia, which stems from the chronic use of certain psych drugs, which deplete vitamin B1. And so now you have all these uh, tics and weird motions in your body that you can't control. Uh, this usually is a B1 deficiency. Why? because psych drugs deplete B1 as one of the things that it does. And this condition also relates to low amounts of dopamine. And guess what? In order to make dopamine, you need B1. Okay, so if you don't have enough B1, you're not gonna make enough dopamine. And then you have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, where you see this in kids, they cannot sit still, right? Well, guess what? They're deficient in B1. I don't know if your parents ever told you to sit still and stop moving, but guess what? It wasn't your fault. It was just low B1, probably because you've been consuming a lot of sugar as a child because the refined carbohydrates and high levels of sugar, like I consumed a tremendous amount in my 20s, created a B1 deficiency and then gave me this symptom right here. If you know of someone who has ADHD, uh, you wanna give them B1, zinc for sure, folate, and EPA, which is, uh, you can get this from fish oil, which is an omega-3 fatty acid. In fact, the derivation of this word right here comes from the Greek not, and then to sit, an inability to sit. So in summary, without enough B1, you're gonna have a hard time just being there comfortably sitting without the urge of having to move. The best source of natural vitamin B1 would be nutritional yeast. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.